I'm Albert Tricasso. <clears throat> and yes, excuse me, I approve of this message because it's important that we talk about the truth. Assuming that you're hearing this, no, sorry about that. I have a little bit of a technical issue. Assuming that you're hearing this, you're a person of faith. I don't know which religion you believe in, but you're thinking about voting based on your religious beliefs. I'm here to tell you, you can't do that this time. Not because I'm your boss, but there's too much at stake. You see, if, if we look at people of faith, especially Christians, because of the abortion matter and gay rights and what have you, most so-called Christians will not vote for a Democrat, will not vote for Hillary Clinton. Here's the problem. You won't vote because of the abortion issue or for a lot of other reasons. You know, they allow gays. Sorry about that. It's a little bit hot here. But here's the problem in this case. You need to remember we are Americans first. Before we do our, you know, believe in our faith, we need to think about the greatest number of Americans. And in this case, every life on earth. And I am a person, a person of faith also. I believe in Jesus Christ. I hate abortions. In fact, for many years, I too would not vote, vote for anyone who was for abortion or for a woman's right to choose. I mean, I always want a woman to have a right to do with her body what she will and not be put in prison or put in medical danger because of it. But, couldn't get past that abortion man. A, a life ending. Couldn't do it. Then I started thinking about something. Even if it is murder. I'm not saying it is. And I'm not saying it isn't. Even if it is. Do we want two lives dead? You know, I would like to see every child be adopted. Every child be born. Except for medical situations where it would be deadly. But the reality is we have millions of children that are in foster care, millions of children that never get adopted or even good foster care and they end up becoming young adults and then adults and they never had a family. They're not loved and we have millions, in fact billions of children, at least, probably at least a billion, abused, hurt, murdered by the so-called families. So we want to talk, when we want to talk about the abortion matter, we need to think about all of that. But that's not even what this is about. This is about something much larger than that. If we allow Trump to get in, and this is not partisan, this is self-preservation for all of us. If we allow Trump to get in, we have a man who says he enjoys getting even and getting revenge. Came right out of his book, Think Big and Kick Ass. That's not me. That's the actual name of the book. Donald Trump, Think Big and Kick Ass. He talks about getting even. He talks about getting revenge. He talks about hiring people but not trusting them. And he would have access to the codes that could start a nuclear war. Or he can order every one of our troops into a battle. Maybe he has this paranoia. Maybe he feels slighted by one of the other superpowers. You see, this isn't about one life. It isn't, it isn't, it isn't even about every abortion. It's about if we end up in that battle, it could be the end of all life on earth. Now you say you're a person of faith. Prove it. 
vote to save God's creation. A vote for Hillary Clinton, I'm sorry to tell you, is a vote to not harm God's creation, not harm every life on earth, not harm the planet. Now, you may not like her politics, and that's okay. You, know, not, you may not like mine, that's fine. But let me ask you this. I know that when I go to the great beyond, I have a lot to answer for. Him. But if you do vote for that man, he gets in and he freaks out, and the world ends, I, or the, the, the globe ends, and you go to the great beyond, I'm talking about each of you that vote for this man. If you're questioning as to why you voted for a man that destroyed God's creation, not Donald Trump's creation, but God's creation, and you have to answer for that. And you have to look at the spirits of your child when you're in the afterlife or whatever. What we say. Yeah, I'm going there. I'm playing the God card, if you will. Because here's the thing, I'm not the one that said they like to get even. They don't trust anyone. And revenge is okay with them. And they say a lot worse than that in Donald Trump's book, Think Big and Kick Ass. So you want to try to say you're on God's side or you you have the moral high ground. Or you believe in the Bible. And that's why you're against abortion. That's why you're against homosexuality. Whatever you come up with. Whatever faith you are, do you really want to have to answer to God why you allowed his earth to be destroyed? You know, getting real, I mean very real for a minute. You don't have that right. Donald Trump doesn't have that right. Neither do I. It's God's decision what happens to this earth, okay? So we cannot let Donald Trump in that White House. He's dangerous. And he's not dangerous because of propaganda from any de Democrat or Hillary. He's dangerous from his own words. Let me ask you this question. If your child could be babysat by Donald Trump, and you knew that Donald Trump doesn't like a win-win situation, likes getting revenge and getting even, would you be comfortable with him watching your child? That's what you want to think about before you go and vote. And let me tell you about me before you go. About Albert Tricasa. Yeah, right now, I live in a Work, a house that needs a lot of work. But my mindset is the millionaire mindset. And yeah, that's why I bought his book originally. I'm going to read it. I like some of what he says in theory. But I don't like the evilness. And that's what it is. But let me tell you about me. I'm willing to lose every viewer of my shows. Cause myself career suicide and take on the world if necessary including Donald Trump at real Donald Trump because let me tell you why when something is right it's always right and saying that this man is scary it's honest and it's the right thing to do and Donald Trump has said many mean things and a lot of hatred out there and they got me thinking about Martin Luther King. When there is injustice anywhere, there is injustice everywhere. So if everybody on earth suddenly went against me, would I stop these videos? Even if I knew nobody ever watched them, would I stop them? You have no chance in the universe of me stopping them. And you want to know why? Arrogance? No. Ego? Definitely not. But if I use my voice and I let out the alarm, then my conscience and my soul can go to the great beyond knowing that 
I at least try. Do I have to answer for a lot of mean things I've done in my life? Everybody on earth will, including you. But will I be able to have to say I helped the end of the world? Not going to happen. And just to give you an idea, if every penny on earth suddenly was able to come to me to vote for this man, every penny on earth to vote for this man, without question I would refuse it. Why should that mean something to you? I mean, right, right now, in this timeline, at this time, for those of the people who like Star Trek and stuff, right now in this current reality, I haven't reached that goal. I'm getting there. But I have been considered more than 500% below the poverty line. So if somebody offered me all the money on earth, that would change my life forever. And obviously I can help a lot of souls. I wouldn't take it. Not a penny of it. Because there are some things on earth you just don't do. I implore you, if you're a person of faith, I mean really, not somebody that pretends to be, but somebody who actually believes in a God. For goodness sake, and for God's sake, and for ours, do not vote for this man. Do not vote for him, because I promise you, it will be the largest mistake that the world has ever made. Yeah, I approve of this message, as extreme as it may seem, because quite honestly, I don't want to see us hurt. And it's sad that I have to say these things about Trump, but he said them himself. He likes to get even. He likes revenge. He demands you get a prenuptial agreement. He hires people and he doesn't trust them. For goodness sake, please have common sense. Not only can you not vote for Trump, but you must share this video as long as it is. Or make your own. You may be the most conservative person that ever lived. Make your own in favor of voting for Hillary Clinton. You heard me. Don't choke. It's not because I love Clinton. Are you kidding me? I love America. I love you and your life. But I'll tell you this much. A Clinton administration brings jobs. A Trump says, sayonara, goodbyes, adios. That's not me talking. That's Moody's.